the P I N K Y show. And girl, Pinky P I N K Y is I'm so fly. And today, Pink Panthers, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk to you guys about the movie Black ugh, Black Christmas. Now, I'm thinking about now on my YouTube. A channel probably talk about movies because I feel like I'm a movie expert because I love movies like that was pretty much my childhood like music and movies pretty much know everything about it so yeah so I wanted to talk to you guys about the movie Black Christmas what I think about it do I recommend if you guys should watch it not watch it wait to demand wait to buy it on DVD wait till it comes on Netflix or something like that you know etc etc okay but first do you like my hair? Do you like my hair? I am honestly feeling this. Like, I feel like if I had short hair, I would so, like, do it in a bob. Like, this is really cute. Like, I'm not going to lie. I've been feeling myself. Like, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling my, feeling my, feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Like, I feel like... I am feeling this look like I'm feeling it. But anyway, so yeah, let's get into it. So now, like I said, so I saw the movie Black Christmas. I saw it with Wee Wee and with Ryan. Hey, Wee Wee. Hey, Ryan. Um, Here's the thing. Let me tell you a little bit story time, and then I'm going to tell you about the movie in general, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so we saw it probably like... A week ago? Yeah. I think it was last Friday. Yeah, we saw it a week ago. And, you know, I'm thinking that this movie, honestly, I didn't think it was going to be scary. But then, I don't know, because I'm not going to like, the killer low-key look like Darth Vader. I was like, uh-uh, is he going to kill them and be like, may the force be with you? Like, I don't, I didn't know. Like, to me, he looked like the Darth Vader. He had on a little, like, black like a black, it's not a robe, but like black, and then this, this, and that, so I don't know, like I said, I thought he looked like the dang Dark Vader, so like, but as they, aver they kind of, they advertise it every five seconds, every time we go on commercial, every goddamn day until the movie came out, so, yeah, but so we saw it, and when we went to movies, okay, so we went to a movie theater where you had to pick out your own scenes. It's not like, oh, you go to the movie theater, you see whatever you want. No, we went to one of the movie theaters that you had to pick what, um, which seat you're going to see at, like, sit at. So, tell me why we go up to, uh, pay for our tickets. This guy goes talking about, he was going to talk about, oh, excuse me. He goes talking about. Pick a seat wherever you want to sit at. So we even looked at it. It's just like, uh-uh. She's like, we the only people going to be at, uh, we're the only people that going to be in the movie theater. He was like, yeah, uh, people really doesn't want to see this movie because it, uh, turns out it had two black sequels. Uh, not black sequels. Two, uh, movie sequels. And it was really bad. It was trash. Nobody wanted to see it. So I usually pick the seats because I'm the type, I'm not going to lie. I'm the type, when I go to the movies, I like to sit in the back. I don't know why. I feel like it's better. I don't know, like, as a child, when I go to the movies, you know how, like, when you as a child, all the teenagers will go to the back, you know? Like, I don't know. Like, it looks fun sitting in the back of the movie theater. Like, it seemed to be so fun. But I feel like teenagers really did that just to be doing a little something, something or just to be fast and all that but i really was curious of sitting into the back seat of the movie so ever since then i like sitting in the back seat of the movie as a child my mother she really doesn't like she likes to sit like in the middle i really don't care for that runner sit in the back of the seat so you know i chose the seats for us tell me why nobody was in the movie theater it didn't dawn on me till i sat down i was like oh he was saying nobody is going to nobody else has wanted to see the movie now keep in mind actually no we didn't see it last friday we saw it last saturday but keep in mind 
nobody was in there like i'm thinking this movie was like a lot of people want to see this movie one is a scary movie two they advertise it a lot like i don't know like i felt like they kind of hyped this movie for you to go see it but then when we went to the movies nobody was there it was literally just the three of us like we could say hello nobody was going to say anything nobody was going to be like shh or shut the heck up before I call security. Like, we was literally talking the whole time. Like, it was like crickets. Nobody was in the movie theater. Now, we, we was like, uh-uh, I can't do this. I can't sit in a bag. Uh-uh, this, this, and that. I was low-key scared. Because I'm the time, I'm going to be honest. I really don't like horror movies. Like, that's like my least favorite type of movies. I kind of liked it back in the day, because to me, you know, back in the day, some movies wasn't really that scary, but as I get, nah, man, nah, mm -mm. I really don't care for scary movies, but, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I really wanted to see the movie because I don't know her name in real life, I go on, I have my iPad, so I'm gonna, like, Google her name in a, fit, in a bit, but she plays Simone in Star, that's really why I wanted to see the movie, because, you know, that's really why I wanted to see the movie, but, you know, hey. But other than that, I really don't care for scary movies like that, but yeah. So, nobody was in the movie. So, yeah, the movie is probably not going to be in the movie theaters for long. Because if it's like last Saturday, nobody wants to see that movie. Nobody wants to see the movie. But, okay, so let me tell you what uh, what's the movie about, and let's get into it. Okay. Okay, let's do it. So, like I said, the movie is called Black Christmas. Okay, so this is the plot. <sighs> uh, Hawthorne College is quieting down for the holidays as students travel home to spend time with their families. But as Riley and her sorority sisters prepare to deck, to deck the halls with seasonal parties, a mysterious cloaked figure starts to leave a bloody trail throughout the campus. Refusing to become hapless victims, Riley and her friends decide to band together and fight back against the psychotic Christmas killer. So, basically, short summary. Basically, um, it's a killer loose on the campus. Um, they don't know who the campus uh, is, but spoiler alert, because like I said, half of y'all probably not going to go and see it anyway, but spoiler alert. Um, the killer was a bunch of the fraternity dudes. Turns out they was possessed, all this and all that. You know, because you know how, like, when you try to be the fraternity or sorority, it's a, a H-E double hockey six week, you know, to see if, you know, like, they, uh, to see if you have what it takes to be in a fraternity or sorority. Yeah, and they have to drink something that turned them to, uh, they turned possessed, all of that, all of that. So that's who the killer was. So yeah. So let me look up this girl from Star. Let me see what her name is. Let me see. Uh, Okay, her name is Brittany O'Grady. Yeah, that's really why I wanted to see the movie, because she was in there. So, yeah. So, let me get into it. First of all, honestly, I would kind of ra I would rate it a 5 or 6. Um, It really, I mean, it was an okay movie. I'm not going to say it's whack. But I'm not going to say, oh, my God, it was, like, the best scare movies I have ever seen in my life. Like, no. Honestly, it really wasn't that scary. Um, It was more like pop-up scare. It was, you know, it was more like a pop-up scare movie. But to say, like, oh, my God, I was so scared. I was so scared. I thought I was going to pee in my pants. Oh, my God, I was so scared. I had nightmares. No, it's not that type of scary movie, but... It was okay. I mean, I wish, you know, I was just surprised because literally nobody was in the movie theater. It was literally just me, Willie, and Ryan. Nobody else was in the day movie theater. So it was awkward as heck. So, yeah. Um, I felt like the movie low-key was kind of, it was kind of all over the place. At first, I was like, okay, I don't understand the plot. 
of this movie, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, some parts I was kind of lost, because I was just like, I was like, okay, um, but like I said, the movie was okay, would I recommend people to see it, um, only, um, I'll only recommend people to see it just, just for them to, like, create their own opinion, you know, this, this, and that, but you just say, girl, you better go watch that movie, that movie was funny, that movie was the best, or, oh my god, homie, you need to go see that movie, no, I wouldn't say that about this movie, but it was okay, um, like I said, it's kind of all over the place, but I guess once you paid attention to it, then you kind of understood what it was saying, um, yeah, like I said, spoiler alert, uh, Two of the girls stayed alive, and then all the other girls died. Uh, they was, uh, the fraternity, they were really killing two of the sorority houses. Like, you have the sorority that was, that was, like, the main characters, like, Arab, like, that was the whole, that was the, um, uh, the sorority that the movie was basing it off of, but then they was killing other girls in the sorority. So, yeah, um... Some parts was sad because it was like, dang, like, wow, that's crazy. But like I said, it wasn't really scary. The movie was okay. But like I said, um, I will only say, I will only say I will recommend you guys to see it just to form your own opinion. And then, like I said, the guy said this movie is like a, a remake of the two Black Christmas sequels. I'm gonna be honest. I have never heard these movie. I have never heard the title of this movie like ever in my life. So I didn't even know it was like an original. But he said people didn't like it. He said that was kind of garbage. Like the first one and the second one was garbage. But I mean, for this to be a remake, I mean, this movie was okay. It wasn't scary. But you know, I'll give it like a five or six. But that's just my opinion. But like I said. Um, let me know if you, uh, let me know what movies you guys want me to see or have saw, like, have saw, and you want me to tell you my opinions or my reaction to it, or, um, but I'm gonna go to the movies and I'm gonna give you guys my review on the movie, but I wanted to do this movie first, because this was a movie I saw recently, so yeah, but I low-key thought it was funny, because it was literally just me, we, and Ryan, literally, we was talking the whole day talk. Life was good. You didn't have to hear nobody say, shh, shut up. No, we just talked. We like, uh-uh, she's a dumb dumb. Why did she go there? Why did she do that? Why is she not running? Run, girl, run. Run, girl, run. You know, we had to, we was talking. We dad black people. Like, we them type of people. We like to scream. So, yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little movie review. Make sure you like or dislike, thumbs up, or thumbs down, comment, please, and make sure you subscribe, 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 also, when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell button for post notifications, and to, uh, and, uh, for me to know that you subscribe, because YouTube now, they're, uh, tripping, like, you're not gonna get post notifications, like, like, you might not know when I have a video up, so make sure when you subscribe, you turn the bell on. Like, make sure you hit the subscribe button, but also hit the bell so you can know um, when my next video is coming out, okay? But yeah, so subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can know when my next video is going to be here. And like my saying goes, let's smile for your style. Don't worry. Be happy, okay? This your girl, Pinky, P-I-N-K-Y, and I'm so fine. Holla at your girl.